Welcome to the third video in the series of creating a graphical application with DK Inter in Python. As you know from our previous videos, we want to create a search bar. And we want it to occupy the minimal amount of space on your screen. So what's it gonna do? It will act in the same way your search engine acts. Input your query, hit enter or the search button and it will return your result. Now what's the real benefit from using this instead of your search engine? We'll try to code its convenience in this video by making it, by forcing it to stay on top of your um, applications without actually interfering with your workflow. So what do we have so far? Let's hit F5 and run our code. So we have the main app, the root. We gave it a title, universal search bar. We added two widgets, a label widget, the query and an entry widget where we input text. And we also created, over here, we created two functions, a callback and a get function that we'll use in this video. So next we want to create a search button. Let's call it my button one. And we'll call the themed TK inter, so TTK button capital B we'll add it to our root widget we'll have it display search we'll give it a width of 10 and we'll have it use the callback function that we previously defined Okay, now we're gonna use the grid geometry manager to put it in line with our label and entry widgets, put it on the same line. So my button one grid column row equals zero so is the first row and the column is two because column one is our entry widget and column zero is our label widget let's run this okay so here's our search button Let's run a query, say, cognitive dissonance. Click on search. And it opens a new Google search, a new tab in your web browser. So it works. Let's close this. Back to the main app. If we are in the entry field, the cursor is in the entry field and hit enter, nothing happens. But you'd expect to act in the same way the search button acts, because this is the behavior you're getting in, in your desired search engine. But we have to code for this function too, so enter is not bound to any function over here. So we have to bind whatever is in the entry field. We have to bind the enter key to our get function over here. So how do we do this? It is quite simple. Um, so we have entry one and we use bend 
within the enter key, which is the return to the get function. Okay, let's close this and run it again. Let's query for mental delusions. Hit the search. It opens up a Google search for mental delusions. And now put the cursor in our entry widget and hit enter. And it does what you'd expect it to do. At the moment, the app acts in the same way our search engine acts. But if we switch windows, like for example, if we're in the web browser, it gets out of focus. And we want to code the convenience of this app by having it stay on top. And in TK Inter, there is an option to do this by accessing the windows methods attributes so we do this we force our application to stay on top by doing root vm attributes and the option is topmost and we set it to 1 or 2. This is how we force it to stay on top. And we add, end our application over here by running the main loop. This is how you end. This is how you finish a TK Inter application. Okay, let's close this. Run it again. Do our query for mental delusions hit enter and you see it stays on top so I think this is convenient because it occupies the least amount of space within the screen and it also stays on top what if your desired search engine is not Google or what if you want to conveniently switch your searches between Google and other search engines like DuckDuck go.com for example we'll see about that in the next video for the moment you have your first running tk inter graphical application in python if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching